Hello, dear students. Today, we are going to discuss percentage change. Within this lesson, we are going to discuss the percentage change, do some examples, and some practice. So, how to find the percentage change? To find the percentage change, consider the change as a fraction of the original amount. For example, my YouTube video views of cat playing with box increased from 12 to 18. First, let us find the actual change. 18 minus 12 is equal to 6. Then, let us divide this actual change by the original amount. 6 divided by 12 is 1 over 2. Finally, let us convert the fraction to the percentage. In order to do so, we will have to multiply the fraction by 100. Therefore, 1 over 2 multiplied by 100 is 50%. Therefore, the formula for the percentage change is equal to change over the original value multiplied by 100. Copy this formula into your copybook and learn it by heart. It is time for us to practice. Let us do the first example together. Take your time to read the problem. As you can see, there was a decline from 420 to 360. Therefore, first we will have to find the actual change. To do so, let us subtract 360 from 420. This will make 60. 60 will be the actual change. As the formula suggests, we will divide 60 by the original amount, which is 420, and multiply by 100%. Therefore, the final percentage change is going to be 14.3%. Let us do the second example together. Pause the video and try to do it on your own first. Now, let's do it together. First, let us find the actual change. 2300 minus 2100 will be 200. This is the actual change. Then, this should be divided by the original value, which is 2100. And then, it should be multiplied by 100. Therefore, this is how we calculate the percentage change. Let us practice now. You can see percentage change chain on your screen. Please, pause the video and try to identify how exactly these numbers have been changed. For instance, in order to go from 500 pounds to 600 pounds, you have to increase the former by 20%. So, in order to go from 600 pounds to 300 pounds, what should be done? You can now see the answers on your screen. Please, compare them with the ones that you have done, and I hope you have them all correct. Dear students, today we have discussed the percentage change. We have done some exercises and learned the new formula. Thank you for learning math with us and I hope you enjoy the process just like me. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.